I'm Amber Tentoff. I'm here with Chris Andrade in a new lab at Consumer Reports that was built to test connected devices. Chris, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on in this new lab? Sure. Uh, the first thing that actually took place in this lab, uh, we tested the streaming media players. Uh, these boxes are meant to put on your older legacy type of TV that doesn't have the smart features uh, when you want to watch Netflix and you don't have any device that can actually do that. And what's going on over here? I see there's another kind of box. Yeah, this is one of the streaming media players, uh, Google TV box, and it has a functionality that's actually showing up in the TVs and everything also. It can actually control your cable box and pass through the cable box as you see up there. Uh, so, and it gives you an advanced guide. And it has the advanced remote control, so that way you can control the cable box, change the volume on the TV itself at, while navigating web pages and everything else. Very cool. Now, tell me a little bit about this setup. Well, right here is the central hub of the whole lab. Pretty much we have our own internet coming in here, wireless hub uh, and wired hub, so that way everything can get connected at once and we can really see how they all interact. Okay, and this set is um, set up how? This is actually to take a look at MHL, which is a new connection that showed up mostly in cell phones, where you can power them and also can control the cell phone, but Roku is using it with their streaming stick, and pretty much I can use the TV's remote control to control the device that's connected in that special port that looks like an HDMI port. That's pretty cool. And here I see three television sets all in a row. What's going on with that? These are actually the top of the line, some of the top of the line smart TVs from the regular TV project. They're in here so we can take a look at some of the more advanced features that we normally can't look at during our usual test cycle. One of them being their uh, ability, their remote control apps from tablets and smartphones, which allows you to not only control the TV, but also share media between the tablet and the TV. And I see that there's a cell phone over here. Is that a right. similar sort of technology? Uh, another. Uh, up and coming connection is the NFC, which pretty much this allows you with one tap to load the app and make the connection to the TV. A lot simpler than having to load up the app on your pad and find the TV through the menu. Absolutely. And here I see a bunch of Blu ray players. Right. A lot of the functionality we see in TVs is showing up on their Blu ray players too. So we're bringing them in not only to see how they connect with the TVs, but also how they compare to the TV platform. So how would you say this new lab is working out so far? Oh, it's working really well, but expect a lot more to come from this lab as we keep on developing it. That's awesome. We look forward to checking back in. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'm Amber Tenta for Consumer Reports.